Guys, who do you think will win my BLT contest? I tried three new slicers. This Prairie Fire, I'm considering putting her on a sandwich because she is super sweet. Also have some old standards here, which is Giant Belgium. Which BLT is the best? <laughs> guys look at that that is beautiful only needed one thick slice look at that okay tie-dye that's good there is a different taste to this and it does complement the bacon all right you guys we can see how much this gave us and our waste up here I've got one slice over here on this BLT. I'm gonna stack them all on here. So you, it's not a one slicer so okay. far. This one was very good. I was expecting this, and I probably pre-hyped this too much, to be sweeter than what it tasted because this plain blew me away. But I found it to be a very enjoyable BLT. Incredibly enjoyable, you guys. I enjoyed this terracotta heirloom immensely. I even scraped some more seeds off of the tops, not off of my plate, because that's got mayonnaise and I really want to share these. I really enjoy this tomato right here. I got a bunch of crispy. I've got salads. I'm going to pop the rest of this into a salad. I've got eggs. I'll top it more with bacon. It's going to be all about these tomatoes for the rest of the day and tomorrow. And this will be for my fresh bacon drippings for the winter because I didn't make any biscuits last year and I want some cornbread already. Look at all of those delicious brown bits I'm gonna scrape up. I'm gonna have a fantastic right, winter. Now we're gonna have a BLT with our giant Belgium. That's how big it is. I've had bigger. It's looking pretty fantastic so far, isn't it? Let's go ahead and add this big, huge, giant Belgium slicer. Now that's a nice looking slice. Gorgeous red. Look at how red that is in the middle. This is where the shoulders were right here. Look at this. Ooh, that's going to be a fantastic BLT. Cannot wait. All that bacon, I don't feel like I need to salt it. And this is one of the things that I love about giant Belgium tomatoes. Again, that is a Sarah Lee bread right here. Still working on the Sarah Lee bread. Mm. Working on Paul Robeson for this BLT. And look, one nice big thick slice. Whew, this is like the fifth BLT I have had in the last six days, so I'm really not tired of them. It's the 3rd of September. These are my black crims, and I've got a real nice cush going on these. These two, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick this one. And I'm going to pick this one. Right. We'll make a BLT out. All right, now it's time for black creme. This is not a fair depiction of how big black cremes get. I'm gonna go ahead and try it because I've already had plenty of these. I know that I love black creme. I'll probably never, ever not grow black creme. So I will be back to let you know what was my favorite. And I have a little bit of a surprise. All right, here it is. I've got a little bit more bacon and this is the one that I wanted to make again. I am super surprised because it is not even a slicer tomato. I like a full, thick, one slice tomato on my sandwich. This was a total and complete shock. You could separately identify how sweet this tomato was with how salty and crisp that bacon is. It was 
mm, it was so good. I wanted more. So this is all the bacon that I have left. And I chose this prairie fire. And you can see I had to cut the tops off because they are getting a little bit of cracking, but that's still a big, huge, meaty piece of that. It is gonna be so fantastic again. I can't wait. I am totally and completely surprised, you guys. If you know of a tomato that has a Brix 10.0 sweetness rating, that is a large size tomato. I would like to know about that because the sweet and salty, mm, chef's kiss, wonderful. All right, you guys, so let's have a little size comparison here. So starting down here, this is 4th of July. Uh, this is not part of Baker Creek. I grow these almost every year. They're reliable, they're little, they're small. They're very comparable to the Campari that you can get at the grocery store. I also did a video on Camparis and 4th of Julys. So here we have this one right here, Thor Burns Terracotta. Very delicious, very sweet. I have gotten bigger ones than this. These two are Paul Robeson right here. This is much like a black creme to me. Coming back down here, these are the blue cream berries. Very prolific, has kind of a low acidy taste to them. If you need low acid, this might be a real bonus for you guys. And this is black strawberry. At this point, I just have one prairie fire. I, I mean, I'm eating them almost as soon as I pick them. Uh, and they're usually bigger than this. That's what they look like. They are super, super sweet and I do so love them. And right here we have the Berkeley Tie Dye Green. Isn't that gorgeous? This is the biggest one that I have picked so far this year of any of the tomatoes. And that includes the one giant Belgium. It was just a skosh smaller than this. But look at this. This is fantastic, you guys. Look at these. Baker Creek tomatoes. If you are looking for a tomato growing requirements and guideline video, that will be in the six new Baker Creek tomato variety video. I will attach that at the end for you and hopefully you will see another variety you'd like to grow for yourself. All six varieties will have their own separate video and time in the spotlight. Thank you so much for watching and I invite you again to subscribe as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with, and my favorite, a specific variety everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up, and have a glorious day.